A fish farm in British Columbia is cleaning up tens of thousands of dead Atlantic salmon. Cermak, a subsidiary of Mitsubishi, first reported what it called a minor mortality event last week, but has since announced that it has more than 130,000 dead fish to clean up. The company blames an algae bloom for killing the fish. Sea Shepherd Society disputes that, claiming the fish we're here in uh, Herbert Inlet at the uh, Binns Island Fish Farm where all the fish have died off. Having two barges at the site is telling me that basically all the fish are dead in that pen. And watching them suck up dead fish with the divers in the pens feeding the vacuum. Once it's sucked out of the pen, they get put onto a trailer which is on the barge. They suck the fish in from the farm because of the outbreak of sea lice and then they pressure wash them as they're turning around in the sluicer and basically taking their scales off and then throwing them back into their pen. What they're saying is algae bloom that's killing them off. They're killing their own product with the, the delicer. You have chunks of meat that are floating around with the scales and everything else that are along with it. You see the birds feasting off of it, stripping off the barge. It's not being filtered or anything, which is killing off our wild stock. Constitutionally guaranteed rights of First Nations in Canada are not an inconvenience, but a sacred obligation. When I was a kid, we used to come to the rivers. Our wild salmon were in abundance. The rivers you could walk across on the fish without getting your feet wet. You go there now, you're lucky to see a handful of fish. We have fish farms that are wiping out our wildlife. People wonder why the wolves and the bears and everything else are coming into our community. It's because we're wiping out their habitat. You now on the East Coast, where we boarded the farms and showed the people, and then the people seen what was in their fish farms, which were basically frankenfish. You know, people don't understand in the city. That's what their sushi is. I don't want our children to be doing what I'm doing, my grandchildren doing what their parents have to do. We don't have till 2025 to get these fish farms up. It's very important for us to preserve all this for the next few generations so they can enjoy what we've enjoyed.